All right, what's going on? So Texas lawmakers, uh, they heard a testimony supporting death row inmate Robert Roberson, but despite the subpoena, he does not appear. Now, death row Robert, uh, Robert Roberson, he did not appear Monday to testify before the Texas House Committee on Criminal Jurisprudence, um, person or otherwise, despite a subpoena lawmakers issued last week that halted actually the execution. Um, and also too, um, they believe that this violated, you know, Governor, uh, Governor Abbott, uh, of Texas believe they violated um, the United States, you know, constitution as far as the separation of power clause. But um, those you don't know, because I had to do some searching on here. So Robert Roberson, he was mainly, uh, he was convicted of killing, say alleged, you know, murdering his uh, two-year-old daughter, right? You know, and back in 2002, okay, due to the uh, shaking baby syndrome. And um, that's like pretty much a, a form of neglect and child abuse of violently shaking an infant because you know that's significant because an infant uh, brain is very you know fragile so they won't be able to you know handle that force because the brain will be you know uh, mush and bounce against their skull so therefore that can um, cause a lot of internal bleeding uh, pupils dilated uh, they can have um, you know unconsciousness so he's pretty much uh, convicted of that and on death row now that's that Robertson was scheduled to be executed last Thursday but the execution was halted after the Committee on Criminal uh, Jurisprudence issued a subpoena for Roberson to testify about his case. In unprecedented gabbing that led to a partial stay of execution from the Texas Supreme Court. So lawmakers intended to hear from Roberson in person as they considered the lawfulness of his case and whether it was necessities, uh, necessitates, I'm sorry, changes to a junk science law, those in his corner feel should benefit Roberson. Over the weekend, however, members of the committee uh, the inmates, um, attorneys in the office of Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton clash over the logistics of his testimony. In the meantime, the committee was proceeding with the hearing, which included testimony from a slate of our wit other witnesses, including TV host Dr. Phil McGraw, who has interviewed Roberson, and author and Innocence um, Project board member uh, John Grissom. Now, this said, the committee uh, members had continued to signal Monday morning they expected the inmate to appear before them in the flesh wow uh yeah they said at the same time attorney general and the committee were uh filing dueling motions with the texas supreme court over its decision to temporarily halt the execution uh gop governor greg abbott submitted a letter brief in support of the attorney general's filings arguing the committee subpoena have violated state constitution separation of power clause uh effectively uh usurping clemency power that is reserved for his office so it uh, looks like it's going to be delayed if they continue to pursue this uh, for the execution to be, uh, what, next year? Because at the least be uh, to 90 days, you know, so uh, the judge has to order that in the court. Uh, you know, this is kind of uh, significant here. They said Terry Compton, one of the 12 jurors of the Robertson trial, said the jury's decision was based on what was presented to them about the shaken baby syndrome and nothing else. She testified if other evidence or explanations had been presented, she would have found Robertson not guilty. And she now believes he did not kill his daughter. I cannot live with myself thinking that I had a hand in putting in an innocent man to death. Yeah, in an interview... Well, I think he said, too, he had autism and things of that nature, man. And that's the thing about the death row. Uh, you know, sometimes it can be really some discrepancies in that. I think we had another one, an uh, individual that, you know, was on death row for a crime that he did commit. Uh, but this is, uh, yeah, man, just doing all that time, you know, it's it's, it's really crazy. Um, I'm going to read a little bit more. Say, in order Sunday, the court said it was still considering arguments from both sides and set several deadlines for filing over the next several weeks. Um, okay, I am 100% convinced that we're facing a miscarriage of justice here, McGraw testified. I think if people really drill down on the facts of this case and thought you can be executed against a standard of reasonable doubt, I think it would be horrifying. I don't think he had a due process, yeah? I don't think he had a fair trial, and I think he should. The best-selling author who wrote uh, Grissom and Omed uh, on Roberson's case committed um, the committee actions last week. Same members literally save an innocent man's life. You took a bold stance against justice and injustice at the uh, precise moment when the courts and the leaders of the state seem hell bent on executing Robert. If not for you, Robert would be in his grave today. Your actions were created to say the least fascinating, unique, courageous, bipartisan, and heroic. Yeah, that's when uh, you know Grissom he advocated for a retrial. Man, that's interesting, man. Um, yeah, man. 
it's just like some information too. It's a lot of lot of information here on there as well. Um, they've been there for over, you know over two decades. So y'all tell me what y'all think, man. Uh, it's a little little crazy here. If he's innocent, then yeah, man. You know he he needs to he need to continue to live. But it's a tragic tragic thing. But you guys continue to like, comment, subscribe, share this video. That's all I really have to say. I love you guys, man. I'm out. Deuces.